The reds, greens, and yellows found in the canopy of oak woodlands add a broad palette of colors to these native and rich agricultural landscapes. The Craig family farm has cultivated a harvest sown from the seeds of a grassroots effort. They ensure the continuation of our time-honored traditions in hunting, shooting sports, and conservation. These seeds impact both mankind and the wildlife that call our great nation home. I feel very blessed. Completely pushed out right now. We've been climbing all day. I did so hard. And this bull just kept escaping us. The rewards in the journey, and this has been an unbelievable journey so far. The Craig family are crusaders for conservation, having founded the first Indiana chapter of RMEF over 25 years ago. They know it is a privilege to be on the mountain and in the outdoors spending time with the people that we love the most. Their lessons teach us that in this world, nothing is given, only earned, and it's a pleasure to work for it. That we as individuals have to believe in something that is more important than us because giving is always better than receiving. Mother and father, they built, they bought the place where, where the farm was at in 1940, and they said they paid uh, $5 an acre for it, but you know, it was really tough for them. And so there was a dug well on you know, it, and there was no electricity, no city water, anything like that. They built a house there just out of rough lumber, just basic, didn't have no refrigeration and we had to put stuff down in the old dug well with a rope. Indiana Whitetail. Pretty excited to hunt this place. It's the Craig family farm. Got a beautiful food plot in front of me with lots of alfalfa. They're standing corn here. We've got turnips. It's really a deer's dream come true. It was 85 degrees. We had a cold snap. The mornings are getting down in the low 30s. We could not have timed this hunt more perfectly. Dad and mom were great teachers. My mother, uh, she had a lot of confidence and very positive to uh, the most positive person I've ever been around. And she instilled in you, you was very smart and you could, could, you could succeed. And my dad was a little bit different, but not a lot. He, he would put pressure on you to do anything because you were smart enough to do this. They were always very good at teaching you that uh, you know they had confidence in you to to live life, uh, to be uh, giving to other people. What really like uh, inspired me was the fact that how they would was giving to other people and they neighbors and and so on. Other people they were very good too and they were always givers. So 
Uh, they had a purpose uh, other than themselves. They uh, taught you, you keep your word no matter what. And, and to be honest, you never said something you, you didn't keep your word. I stressed that when you was a little kid. You didn't question that. You, you get away from that and you've lost everything. The farm we kept it, and we want to pass it on down to people in the family. But you want people to enjoy it the same as we did, and because it meant a lot to them. With the farm, uh, we've been able to grow some crops, and we let just the wildlife have it. Because my dad and mom both like wildlife. Jim and I spend a lot of time down there, and I just get a thrill out of being down there. It's it's just kind of like uh, being off in another world. It's it's beautiful. Do I get excited? There's a big buck. <laughs> yeah, that's what I holler a lot when I see one. <laughs> or I'm saying, there's a buck, there's a buck. And last year I got totally excited. He was really close and I, the closer he got, you know, the bigger he looked and I was so excited. <laughs> I kind of lost it. <laughs> the Craig family farm is a reflection of the words spoken by their parents. Ishmael and Gladys Craig. Those words have grown into character and are reflected in everything that the Craig family does. We're in a new stand tonight. We had a pretty dramatic shift in the wind and it switched from being the predominantly north-northwest to a south-southeast, which has opened up the opportunity for us to hunt this field off the backside. Last night, we had a really nice nine point come out right at dark. Unfortunately, a little too late and he was out of range as well. more deer than we've seen in days. And all it had to do was warm up about 20 degrees. The Craig family provided the opportunity for me to hunt whitetail, but it was ultimately up to me to figure out how to be successful. They give women and children similar opportunities to build confidence and not be afraid to try something new each year at the Craig family camp. My son, uh, Mick, uh, came down with a brain tumor and uh, ended up passing away, but in taking him to uh, for treatment at different times, and uh, there was a lot of kids there and uh, where he went to, and uh, he really had a desire to help kids, and I promised him if we passed away that I would, um, I would do something to help give back. So that's one of the reasons, one of the main motivations in, in doing this is to do something that would uh, help carry on, you know, uh, his name and remembrance of him. So, Jackie said he wanted to have he wanted to have kids come in and a place for them to learn to shoot and play and enjoy themselves. Shooting is just that one tool that you use, kind of in your toolbox of of uh, communicating and showing kids that you care about them. We've had great success in mentoring kids, uh, and it means a lot to see kids develop. They all tell you how much fun they've had, you know, and you can just see it in their face. Craig Family Camp is uh, something I think that is still evolving and uh, it's here to serve a need. It's here to help uh, kids feel special. One of the greatest things that uh, is, is take time for them and listen to them. This one little boy, he was just smiling from ear to ear and he said, this is the best day of my life. And it wasn't even noon yet, you know. And to see somebody that was that thrilled about being able to do something like that. It was just, it's a miracle. And now we've got kids who, they're helping us uh, teach other kids. So it means a lot till you see kids develop. And a lot of them just need some individual attention. And they need to know somebody cares about them. Show them that you have confidence in them, that they can achieve, that they're very uh, lovable and teachable. I'll do anything for kids. We took a few kids 
to New Mexico hunting, and then we would make them donate half their meat back. We paid for everything, but make them donate back so we learn them to give. Well, Jim and Leanne Craig are definitely special people. They have uh, huge hearts. They see how important it is, you know, to get kids out in the woods and, and do stuff with them. He saw, he saw something in me, you know, that fire that, that really makes me want to be out there and hunt, and that's what I want to do. And he saw that, and he took initiative and, and made it happen for me, and so I'm thankful for that. You know, if you would go back a year from this date, go back a year, I would have never even thought, I would never even dream that, you know. Go ahead and put another one shoot in. Him, shoot him again. To open doors and opportunities, you have to put yourself out there. It's meant a lot to me for us to see kids develop and, and you can have a big bearing on their lives. The success found in the Craig Family Youth Camp spread the desire within their hearts to broaden their impact. And with Leanne's vision, the Women's Shooting Camp was born. Well, it's meant a lot to me. Now to see women get into it, you know, and shoot. I think it's a great opportunity for the local women to come out here and get their hands on. I think for anyone, even if they think they don't want to shoot again, they need to come through this and just experience it. Personally, I was terrified to shoot. I shot a 12-gauge shotgun about 12 years ago and absolutely had a bad experience. It just took me getting my confidence and, and and I'm just so thankful. Coming to a place like this where you can learn it for free and have the opportunity to, everyone should come here and do this. It, it's amazing to hear some of the stories. I mean, there are some of these women that have been on incredible hunts and they've been on incredible uh, adventures. And, and then there's others that have never even thought of the prospect of them actually going out on a hunting trip. Getting women together and getting them to realize that they can do this. It's not a man's game, it, it's anybody's game. Like, it's an I did a moment for me. <laughs> yeah, it's an I did a moment for me. And I didn't, I didn't want to do it. And I did it. Because I didn't, I didn't want to pull the trigger. And I was scared. And it was just a simple pull the trigger gun thing. But I did have fear about it. And, and it, it, this was a confidence thing for me. For the number of years that I've been coming, I've heard nothing but praises from the women that have been here because they're not made to feel stupid or uneducated. I, f I feel good about being going to a shooting range now and holding one, being able to do this. The women just have so much fun. They just really enjoy it. And they, they always say, well, I learned a lot today, you know. They never had a clue when they got here, but when they left, they knew they'd learned something, so. Did you ever think in a million years you'd end up doing this? No. No, I didn't. Not ever. But I'm glad we are, you know. And I don't want to quit, so. There's a buck coming down the path.
The Craig family has impacted the hearts and lives of their community in a profound way with their unwavering dedication to land stewardship, wildlife management, and our hunting heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, please get a big hand to Jack, Jim, and Leanne Craig, your 2015 Conservationists of the Year. The Craig Family Camp and Museum are free to attendees, providing the opportunity to learn and grow. This life is one big field waiting for the right seeds to be planted. The seeds that are sown here are spreading far and wide across the state of Indiana, impacting the community of young sportsmen and women and the next generation of wildlife and conservation.